Miss you guys. A vision in uh, white miss robe. You guys. Oh, hello. It's so tough to be swaggy and comfy. Mm-hmm. Guess who did it? I saw, I saw Kyle doing it yesterday. I said, Damn. Yeah, you creamy. Uh, <laughs> cream, cream cheese oatmeal. Welcome back, Big Cat. <laughs> Big Cat, good to see you, brother. I missed you guys a lot. Where the hell have you been, brother? I've been everywhere. Well, I was bowling all day Tuesday. The office was huddled around the TV in the main yes. uh, area watching it. For hours. Hours. Crazy hours. that, like... I didn't think it was gonna work better than I could ever imagine. I was rooting for those guys when they would get close so goddamn hard. I know, and the and, and making him eat hot dogs. The whole thing was just very fun. Also, Pete Weber was awesome. Pete yeah. Weber, yeah. what a legend! Man, look at that shirt, my caballero. Yes. Whew. Yeah, it's fun shirt Thursday. So is it? So you do look like a, a gay rancher. So is this? I heard you had sex on Tuesday. You had sex with Jenks. Okay. Mm. Ass sex. My life has changed in the last 48 hours. What's on the shoulders? What's what's been going on the last 48 hours? Well, I had my date with Jenks, and I'm just a new man now. Hmm. Yeah, that color placement is wicked. What is what's going on with the Adams? Uh, yes, uh, they are. How many pro? Is that a tungsten oh, yeah. Adam? This is the Ooh. shirt that Marty McFly wore when he went to the Old West to save Doc Brown from um, the Old West. Everybody knows that. Mm-hmm. And then when they asked, what's what's your name? He said, Clint Eastwood. So this is Clint Eastwood's shirt. Looks so good. Looks great. Yeah. Brandon, I'm going to have so you. Good. Let Tomorrow, let's have an obscure reference T-shirt off. Who can wear the most obscure <laughs> reference Ooh. T-shirt? Bro, I'm not going to be good. here, but we, can we do it Monday? We'll do it Monday. I got a good one, bro. The oh. River Wild. I oh, love yeah. that movie. Oh. I love that movie. Damn. Damn. Bacon. That's not the same Damn. as The River Runs Through It? I thought oh, it was The this River This was a much worse wild. movie. It was it? But it's yeah. so bad, but it's so good. And Kevin Bacon is a fox in that movie. He's real Bacon. bad. Kevin Bacon a fox? Kevin Bacon's always been a handsome man. I didn't know he was handsome. I just oh, thought he was every handsome. man. He's yeah. in my favorite movie of all time, Tremors. That's not a com- It's my favorite movie. Fuck, it's fucking awesome. It is Mike, awesome. You like Michael Gross in that? Is that the elephant gun guy? Uh, yes. Then yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's scary. It's, uh, I don't want to go to Arizona if there's going to be tremors. I never I understood when at the end when they tricked the 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 one the thing to to jumping off the cliff yeah. and exploding. That was a dumbass worm, man. Yeah, it's a worm. <laughs> yeah, but it, it it was outsmarting them earlier in the picture. Well, because it had a, it had the element of surprise. Right. Rewatch it. How many of the worms were there? Clemmer. Two? I think there were three worms, but they were mean. That they know of. And then they started flying and shitting the other ones. What's up, boys? Uh, dude's still getting worms like in their stomach. I uh, my, uh, my dogs dog, are. Yeah, worms? my dog has worms right now. Honestly, I'm sure they really? do. Really? Yeah. But fellas are going with it. people. Well, they they were like, don't eat shit out of the dog's ass because humans can get these worms too. I'm sorry, bro. So, so I got to make sure I don't eat shit out of this dog's ass. Well, don't people do it as like a weight loss thing? Yeah, like, shit out of the dog's ass. Tapeworms, right? I want that. I want that fucking drug that Joey's on. Diabetes drug? Yeah. No, you don't. Why? Because it gives you diabetes. Oh. What's the drug? Why is there a drug to give you diabetes? No, no, it doesn't. Oh, it's, really. a, it's a drug that all, all the rich people in Hollywood are using. It's it's like insulin, and it makes you not hungry. Yeah, you just don't eat. Uh, but then when you stop doing it, your weight comes back like tenfold. But I like to eat. Tenfold? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. You'd, a thousand you, pounds. You would weigh tenfold? Yeah, you would weigh over a ton. <laughs> That's funny because you know only like the laziest people in the world are going to do it, which means they are also going to stop doing it. <laughs> yeah, can't like, keep up that, yeah, that curriculum. Know, it's actually a good point. How are people getting their hands on it? I think you get it prescribed. But you have to have diabetes. No, I don't think so. Oh, you can just get the weight loss thing? Yeah. Oh. You should do it, Brandon. Joey, yeah, both of us. Kamasta looks great. Do it? Yeah, yeah he he is that shed. what he's been doing? I think so. You ought to be able to get it. Yeah, let's do it. Done. Can you give me a quick like thirty second recap of the Jenks? Because I was out yesterday too. For he never interview. called in. I thought he was going to call in and give us report cards. Well, the way you you guys had attitude about him, I think he was scared off from being called in. You guys poo pooed him. 
Why'd you poo poo him? Scared of, I'm scared. I would sc- never. I'm scared of being kidnapped. Right? Rate's gonna go to the Museum of Modern Art, Modern Art with him. So yeah. we started off at the oh, trip. an art museum. Yes. Yeah. Well, I actually have a, a little twist on. <laughs> okay, you're going to the museum with this guy. That's I said it on just the just show. It. He messaged me. He said, "DM me. We'll really go to the MoMA." How'd y'all laugh? Okay. I like this. He gave me the broken chair, by the way. I what? do. I, I mean, that's just a straight up date. I do have a, a yeah. twist on the Jenks thing. Um, I think someone just called in TJ. I want to talk to him real quick. What's happening? A twist on Jenks? Yeah. So I talked to Jenks last night briefly, and he gave me, um, he told me something happened, uh, and I want to stop it right now before it happens. So it's not about you, Brandon. Don't worry. Okay. Is he on? So we have someone at Barstool who, let's just say, he's really good at stealing people's broads. Oh. oh. Of course. I thought it stopped there. Yeah. I thought he just steals women. Yeah. Turns out this person has also been trying to steal Jenks. He's going to steal our bro? He's going to steal our bro. Nadu, are you there? Yo, what's up? What the fuck's he oh, doing? Yeah. Hi, Karumba. Dude, what are you doing, bro? You're trying to... We, we knew our women weren't oh, safe. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? I saw this guy. He friended me. I, or, or he followed me. I followed him back. And he sends me a DM and says, hey, I'm a, I like your content. I'm a fan of you. I've been doing stuff with the Yak, blah, 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 blah. Oh, he's been doing he said, stuff. I go to Knicks games. I said, okay, cool. I said, I wouldn't want you to spend any money on me. I didn't, I didn't reach out to him. He reached out to me. He's fucking lying. It sounds like <laughs> you're trying to steal our bro. Like, listen, dude, I under, I'm fine with the fact that, like, if my wife's ever near you, it's over. Like yeah. we get it, you you steal women, you steal our women. That's fine. The contract I've accepted. You steal our men. You can't go to the bros. No, but I, the thing is, I think he's just like a fan of different people. I I I was I told him I said that you're the yak dude. Like I don't I'm not on the yak. You I didn't tell him that. No, I believe it. Uh, you no, I believe it. Our bro. I swear, I, told, I swear I could send you it. I said I bro. I don't want not like that's your their thing. I don't I don't. Nadu, you know there. that will make him want you more. Yeah. yeah. You're doing the classic Nadu. Yes. Right. I mean, I'll definitely go to the game if you oh, want. Of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> we can't get away from this guy. Huh. Steals everything from I know. us. I know. I was shocked when I heard this. My wounds have just healed. I just got used to sleeping alone. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, game? This? what game are you going to go to? Where are you going to stay? Yeah, where, where are you going to stop? Where's the line? You going to steal Roan's dog? No. No, I, no. Listen, I, I he didn't uh, see us. Uh, he, he sounded like he was going to. <laughs> well, I've never seen his dog. I mean, I like your dog. <laughs> dog's beautiful. Uh, don't keep your uh, eyes off Stella. Don't do that. No, we might go to like a February game. Uh, maybe uh, I don't know. It's February. Maybe we'll do a home at home. I, he can come down here for a Sixers. I'll, you know, he could take me to a Knicks. I'll return the favor. That's what uh, gentlemen do. Generous lover. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're just dating. If you're I'm now man. getting details that you reached out to him first. <gasps> That's untrue. He followed me, and I followed him back. I and what did you, you follow? What, everybody back that follows you. What was the first? What was the first message no, sent? I had, here's what happened. I looked at his account, and I thought, "Oh, okay, this guy must know Barstool people." I don't. I don't follow every storyline. I saw he went out with Brand. He took Brandon to a game. I think Ch- someone mentioned he took Che out, and I followed him back. And I said, "Yo, thanks for the follow, bro." Like. Uh- he looked like he was a. Uh, mm-hmm. Hold on. So you did reach out to him first. Whoa. I don't think I did. I. I you think said I, thanks for the follow. I'm looking at it right now. What's this guy a fucking rat? I don't think. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I could have sworn I just followed him. Uh, dude, I fucking like you, dude. But you can't come after our bros. No, dude, this was also yesterday. You, you were on that yesterday. hot. No, I thought he was like a. I thought he was like, uh, you know, connected or something. I, I don't know. I didn't mean to. I wasn't trying to get none out of him. Thanks for the follow. You, you reached out to him first. Oh, get this off the screen. This is rat stuff. This is. This God is, damn yeah, it! What's this do. guy doing, bro? He's ratting my conversation. You're the one going after our guy. I, I did not know it was your fucking guy. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, this is how it always happens. I thought he was a friend of yours or something. Mr. Yeah. Steal your bro. Oh, my God. Looked like an interesting character. That's all. I mean. Yeah, I bet you'll find out. Uh, I didn't okay. know guys could be broads, too. I know. All right. Well, thank you, Nadu. I mean. First three letters. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. Now we at least know that you can steal everyone from us. 
I think you should be more mad at this guy. He's the one that asked me to go to a game. You're asking us to be mad at Jinx? No, we're not going to be mad at Jinx. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. I, I, you know, I was just curious who he was. That's all. Yeah. All right. We get it. You know, you steal everything. Thanks, it's fine. It's it is what it is. All right, KB. I'll hit you later, bro. We'll have more. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep it going. That. What? Mm-hmm. Huh? All right. Yeah. All right. See ya. I'll steal right. KB. See ya. What's going on there, KB? Uh, we're in talks. Oh, okay. He's he's a great texter. He uh, sends the the audio messages. Oh. No the paper. Po- trip. No points missed. I can't. I. Can't. I couldn't believe it that we we got a guy that we're all dating. I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. I'm sure that thanks for the follow. That's you might as well be yeah, howling yeah, and inviting, slobbering. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we, we date one guy as a show. I don't know. I don't know. Steals. They do sent five total words, and Jenks sent ten words. That's twice as many words. I mean, I one well, is. They do sent the first words. Uh, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but last I time mean, you sent thanks for the follow to somebody. Never. Right. Never. He's going he's gonna to fuck Jenks. I know he is. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's do, he knows exactly what he's doing. Is that anybody Jenks else horny right now? Katie Hot Pockets, are you really going to the museum <laughs> with him? That's a, that is a full-fledged date. There is. Yeah, I know. That is only romantic. Yep. I had to break up with Pat. Yeah. <laughs> had to, you think he's ready to be a dad? <laughs> I hope so, because I'm bringing my son. <laughs> oh, you're joking. Oh no, we're really going to the. Museum. You, I can't tell. I know. I know. <laughs> All right, eighty hot pockets. <laughs> what a name! You're going yeah. to the museum. Wow. Yeah. So, how was your date with Chanks? I wanted to. It was great. We went to Triple Crown, had some, had a couple Three drinks. Three takes with the boys. everyone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we went and we sat front row, not courtside, but front row of of the last seats in our courtside. And then we were right by the bench. There we are. And he's just a great guy. We had a great time. Sat next to some fun people. He he's a. He's a section talker. He he talks to everybody in the section. Oh, I love it. And, and he he dominated the section. I, I I'm not a section talker. So I think what we should do instead of Jenks calling in today, I think Jenks, you just got to take meticulous notes. And um, once we all date you, we'll have you in well, live would, for a show, I mean, and you can break it all down for us. I don't well, want I, well, I kind of want to get his breakdown because he did the Stephen one. I, I'd very like well. to know if very he likes me more than Stephen. All right, then call. I, I thought it was very informative. In Jenks. But then, but then I need you to leave the room. No, I don't, he didn't leave the room. So was Stephen here? Stephen, yeah. but you can talk. That's, you can talk about this yeah. fucking idiot, Stephen. I won't say anything. Face, you won't that's, know. Tr- that's true. <laughs> I wasn't in the room. See, it was easy. No, yeah, because you he's were taking. Fucking, he's a fucking moron. You he's doing say, his Bucks heartbreak. He, off. Yeah, he's a he's a piece of shit moron. You could say it to his face. He won't Dude, even realize. What a piece of shit moron. He having it what, all. What, Stephen? I, come on. <laughs> I mean, that that time it did work. Having it all at the end would be interesting, though, just because yeah. it's, bl- it's we blind. We can do that. If we did a whole report card at the end. But Rowan and KB yesterday said they're not going. I'll I'm going to go. I'll go if it's a report card like that, because then I'll want to, like, it'll gamify it, and it's not just going to be week to week where it's just like, oh, this person was better than the last. Yeah. This person's better than the last. It's like, I'll I'll probably bring him a gift. All right, so, so Jenks, do make this. Make all out and rank us? Yeah, make, make a meticulous ranking. You obviously remember Stephen Che's date. Do the same for Brandon, and we're all going to date you, and then we'll have you in for a full show. And it'll break maybe a maybe a PowerPoint. Oh, great, yeah. Jenksy! I like a sober breakfast date. Ooh! Oh, so y'all get to plan your stuff more than me and Steven did. We just you went, went to the game. Lakers game. That's just awesome. Went to a game. LeBron James is your favorite player of all time, and you saw him with him right by your work. You didn't That's have to true. travel. You stayed in the city, and you got awesome. to have Nick as a buffer. It was awesome. Yeah, it's a memory. Yeah, mm-hmm. fuck the shit out. I'm gonna go to a game with him. Huh? You did fuck the shit out of him. <laughs> Not anymore, dude. The deuce. That's the deuce territory. Thanks for the follow. He knew exactly what he was yeah. doing. Yeah. Uh, Might as well just send him dick pics. Couldn't believe it when I heard it. I know Nadu sent that from his bed with like his feet kicked up behind him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. He's good. He's good. He's he good. loves me. He loves me not. <laughs> <laughs> Nadu knows what he's doing. Jeff Jenks is all over his composition notebook. <laughs> <Yes, hearts. laughs> uh, Mr. Jeff Jenks. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> big heart around it. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, Stephen, do, are you depressed? You should be. Did you guys give it to him yesterday? He's got this whole other thing going with me right now that's crazy. Why? What's that? And we're arguing. He says LeBron doesn't have a top ten highlight tape in NBA, and uh, it's, that, it's, it's it, me and him are just fighting right now. I said that there. Are, I ranked top ten plays lists, and I put LeBron seventh, and Brandon took exception. This is what Jenks is doing to this show. Yeah, he knows. You guys are you guys are fighting over Jenks through LeBron telling me highlights. That, telling me that T Mac has a better career highlight tape than top LeBron 10, James. Top is crazy. ten playlists. 
The thing about top tens is everyone has ten plays. But they're also – LeBron has hundreds. You might have just seen a bad top ten. Everyone has ten. Steven, are you ranking <laughs> top tens? LeBron has hundreds. Did Stop you, saying it like did that. Did you put out a rank of top tens? Yes, he did. Uh, yeah. Okay, then that's just on the top ten. Not Say it again one more time. The depth. I mean – I was texting with Connor hey, Griffin about it, about it this morning, he was, and he sent me like a 13-minute video of LeBron highlights, and I said, Connor, the thing about top tens is everybody has 10 plays. Yeah. So LeBron's longevity and everything, just his peaks aren't as high as other people. And now he, he – Oh. That's oh. crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Everyone has a top ten. Everyone. Yeah. I put – who did I put about? Vince, put, Car Vince Carter, which we agree. You put T-Mac, you put Wade, you put D-Rose, you put uh, – Michael, obviously, you put Vince. I don't know who the other two are. Mello. Wade? Mello. You put Mello above no, him. No, no, I did not. I thought you did. You no, said you did. I said I like watching Mello. Um, Tracy McGrady, Derek Rose. Everybody I just said. Kobe, Michael it's a, Jordan. It's a crazy way to cope with the Bucks losing uh, Tom this Brady. Is this is what after. he's doing? Yeah. 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 I, I, going no, after goats no. and other sports. I had, yeah. I had this crafted before the, the announcement arrived. You don't craft things. So, after the season ended. Yeah, but do you realize how, how like barren your life is now? Uh, it's it's a it's a fresh start, and I'm honestly kind of looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, that's that is that, that's a code. Yeah, he's, that is, he's back yeah. to being Stephen Shea. You've been gone, freshly but divorced. Yeah. Like, you know what? I kind of yeah. kind of want to try this single like the thing bar out. scene. Yeah, the apartment, apartment is way better than the house. <laughs> yeah. mm. No fucking pool to yeah. worry about. Yeah, I, just, I don't have to put up the seat. Ugh. Lots of single guys around. Yeah, it's great. I, mean, I don't even like my kids that much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you kind of knew the ride was over after the playoffs, and that's when I was sad. But now it's just yeah. like, okay, well. We know, and now we can kind of move forward. Kyle Trask season. Kyle Trask season. Oh, God. And then maybe, who knows, maybe we draft somebody. Maybe you trade. You're not getting anybody at 19, though. Trade up. One. Probably not. Oh, okay. oh, I see. Look at his face. God damn it. He's in draft mode. Look yep. at that fucking mm -hmm. face. He's yeah, hoping Richardson lot. slips. I'll trade you right now. Tristan Wirfs and Mike uh, Evans for the number one pick and your pick this year, first round pick this year, first round pick next year. No. That's a oh. good trade. Damn, that was stupid Tristan of you. Tristan Wirfs is like one of the best tackles in the league. So. Yeah, but if you get your quarterback, you're set forever. Mm -hmm. uh, no, you need a line to protect the quarterback. Ah, the, the Bengals. I also don't think <laughs> there's, a, there's a surefire quarterback in this one. Like, C.J. Yeah. Stroud and Bryce Young are good, but I don't think there's – this isn't Trevor Lawrence coming out. Yeah, you want to throw Justino in there, maybe we're talking. I'm not giving you Justin Peele. Justino. You're not giving up Justino? Why would we trade the one number one pick and Justin? Lawson over him saying Justino? No, instead of. Oh, instead of. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Indeed. Make the mm -hmm. trade, big Hey, so Justin Fields for Tristan Wirfs and, and Mike, Mike Evans, Evans and a, and and then draft in the nineteenth pick. Yeah, then draft C.J. Stroud. You're good. That's yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, a good yeah. trade. Okay. okay. Yeah. Done. Done. You gotta Done. let Jason Light know. I'll I'll let him know. All right. So you just but fuck. So you don't have a left tackle now. The we get the we have tackle. the number one pick, Tristan Wirfs, Mike Evans, yeah. and the nineteenth pick, and you get Justin Fields. Yes, okay. sign me up. And your first round pick next year. Nope, that wasn't part of the deal. Yeah, it was. Nope, nope. You still got a good deal. You got fleeced. Yeah, pretty good deal. Yeah. yeah, you did. I I got fleeced. <laughs> yeah. What? He got, all you got was Justin Fields. Yeah. And he's gonna get a Justin Fields in the draft. There ain't nobody better than Justin Fields in this draft. Brother. Oh, it's close. I mean, it's it's, it's CJ Stroud's really fucking good. You're already You're acting like Will Justin Fields is on the box. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't say I'm Will Evans guy. I said CJ <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this is how deals get done. <laughs> well, Report it, Chef. Easy. <laughs> He's a huge Yak fan. Uh, can whoever is uh, running the Twitter right now? Can we break that news that this trade happened? <laughs> oh, that's right. a that's a massive deal for you. That was a coup. I love Justin Fields, but. I have to say yes to that deal. And now Jersey Jerry doesn't have to hate Chicago. Yeah. It's perfect. Win-win. Mm. You can hate Steven. Win-win. Win-win-win. No, win, we're, win. we're memorabilia buddies. <laughs> <laughs> what else did I miss? Did you put on Kate's braces? No, we're waiting, we're waiting oh, for you. Oh, I have them. Yeah, I know I you brought them today. I've been sitting and rubbing alcohol in little baggies on my desk for like three okay, days. Go get them. Okay. Oh, that's just going to be putting on a fresh one. I wouldn't quite say okay. that. They're shaped yeah. exactly like her teeth. And they are stained a little yellow, but that just ah! happens. That happens to all of them. Because the last few days I say, I'm going to start drinking coffee with them and I'm whatever. <laughs> I'm okay. start smoking cigarettes with them. <laughs> a deep, full yellow. You okay, Nick? Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, you I'm are. doing it with you. 
Yeah, that's yes. I appreciate that. Wait, so how are you doing it with him? I'm going to put on a pair as well. After, after There's two pairs? Oh, she brought in two pairs, oh. I think. I think she, what if it's just a top and a what bottom? Is it, 30 seconds? You, you should just put, both put in, in one, it? like the top and the bottom. So you don't have to swap from one mouth to the other if it's only <laughs> a single pair. Francis, what are you doing? You want to sit in here? Me? Oh. Yeah, we, we, we lost our comedian today. <laughs> Who, me? Damn, brother. I, I almost just nicked you. <laughs> why? Why does that hang hang right like that? I don't know. That's Francis, when is my Oops the Podcast episode coming out? Next week. Ne- next kind of day. Bullshit to just make me wait. Well, we don't. We don't. We can't. I don't know. We can't really turn them around that fast. Ah, uh, it's not our fault. It's producers. It was a great episode. Wow. It was good. Yeah, I told the whole crew that you dropped out of Fordham. Yeah, that hurt. Uh, Why have you been hiding that from us? Fordham dropout. Because it didn't matter. No, it matters. It trumps Harvard. I I don't think that's how mm-hmm. education Francis credits Ellis, college work. dropout. Yeah, Fordham, no. Fordham school, dropout. Law school dropout. Right. Okay. Law school dropout. I, I live with that. Mm-hmm. But, but Harvard's erased. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's the most recent thing you'd try. It absolutely is. Is uh, that right? O.J. Simpson running back. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. I was talking to Che, by the way. I try to get his bets before he posts them. Oh, yeah. So 21,000, 2,100 I don't likes? have it. I don't have it yet today. Oh. He won't tell you? No, he does. He just doesn't have one picked out yet. Oh. You said you bought a Montclair code off of it? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Of I have it here today. It's really sick. Can we see it? Yeah, go you get go it. Put it on? Yeah. yeah, let's see it. I gotta see this. Montclair Francis code. College Dropout. Wow, that's uh, it says it right there. Because mm-hmm. uh, you just had Montclair on yesterday. I did. Yeah. You got a Montclair? Place? I got a Montclair beanie. Fuck. Three fifty MSRP. Mm-hmm. Kelly Blue Book three fifty. I got a good deal. Is this a new brand, or Montclair? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I bu- I got mine from Chinatown. I think it's uh, uh, town. I think it's a. <laughs> Um, i think it's i think it's a old or or older french brand i don't think it's brand new how old is 1952 1952 it's also italian not french oh wow Wow, that is oh scroll down oh you're peacocking wow you know what you are you're looking like a guy who's trying to like, Skirt the rumors that you dropped out of Fordham. Like Lloyd Christmas and Dumb and Dumber. Oh, no, that's a cool piece. Yeah. Kyle, thought? That guy definitely couldn't have dropped out of Fordham. Wow. Right? That's a lot of coat, man. That's high tech. What do you think, KB? That's a nice coat. It's almost good. Uh-oh. Yeah, I agree. Oh, no. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? Oh, the no. Hood is it's almost good. It's almost good? I like it. Thank you, Stephen Che. Yeah. How much does that run? It's twenty seven hundred. Holy shit! Oh, I want it. I got it thanks to uh, Stephen Che. Wow. Hit my Francis. Francis. Yeah. Stephen making Francis dreams. one of my original riders. Yeah. Very early on. Very. Nice. Yeah. Takes big, it every day. Early adapter. I thought Montclair was French. It sounds French. It's, it's, it's Italian. French. Everyone it knows it was found Italian. in France. Oh, it was. It said yeah. it was an Italian. Pull it up. It was right there in front of everybody. Montclair's an Italian luxury fan house. Wait, scroll down, down. house. Regile. Oh, is that the jacket? Founded in Francis France. Got? Yeah. Oh. oh, there you are. Oh, there's your Montclair well, they, jacket. They're the Look ones that left for Italy. You were just so snug over there. Stephen, really warm. Or, Stephen, have you bought anything off of your bets? No, I'm stacking chips right now. Okay. Stacking. Francis, we're all putting Kate's braces on. What? Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> are you serious? It's a bad day to be here. Yeah. Nick, go first. <laughs> yeah, you go second, Francis. This is disgusting. They're removable. Are we supposed to drink the water first? No. I think this is rubbing oh. alcohol. Drink it after. Oh, it's rubbing alcohol? So, no. I'm drink a little bit of the rubbing no. alcohol. I, I had them soak in rubbing alcohol. Well, it burst in the bag, so then they were sitting, and all the marker came off. So it was sitting in, like, marker juice oh. in the bag. So then I had to rinse them off really good. That's just water. I just I didn't know if you could put rubbing alcohol <laughs> right into your mouth. Yeah, how do you feel? <laughs> it's only fair. After I saw Che hanging in the air with that wedgie, uh, I was re- I realized, you know, it- you bear your cross. Yes. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, there's in. Ah, oh. Ew. Oh, I 
so your timer's going. <laughs> Is it 30 seconds? <laughs> These are from the very beginning when my teeth were fucked up. Did we say 30 like seconds? Extra snaggly. Oh, oh, 60 seconds. 60? Yeah. So he started at 45. <laughs> I am so sorry. I don't know why this is happening. It's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It kinda, I, if I bite down, it might fit a little bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you feel like me? 30 more seconds, Big Cat. 30 more seconds for you. <laughs> How many sets of these do you have? A ton. We're every t- every two weeks, you get a, you get a new set. That's- no, and this is why we both make millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like this. All right, 50 more seconds. Mm. I want to keep them in. Yeah, that's pretty Honestly, simple. I'm like Kanye right now. You can't even notice them. Yeah. Right, For they the blend. Wire. Some body odor yeah. pancakes. I'll just sip the scissor. Yeah. <laughs> that's time. <laughs> Ew, 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 ew. Oh, this, ew, <laughs> the, ew. The drill string. It's very bad to take oh, the clock. Gross. <laughs> oh, we're just uh, right at the top of the minute. <sighs> Three, two, <Nightmare>. one, <laughs> in. Oh, <laughs> gross. Yeah. Oh, come on, Nick. <laughs> get him in the get him in the mold. Get him in the mold. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want them. Oh, you gotta have them too. He's tearing up. He's starting to tear up. He's he's, he's locking in now. Oh Oh, man, that was gross. Oh, Oh, this makes me feel gross. Thirty seconds. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) If you throw up, you can't end early. If you you just throw up, you good? Be good. Twenty seconds. I can't look at you. Oh, he's he's fine. He's doing you got good. this. You he's got a big this. strong boy. He's he's good. Is it getting worse? <laughs> Ten seconds. Come on, brother. Oh, you look cool as hell, though. Ugh. You look so. Five cool. seconds. You look yeah. so cool. Your street look. Your teeth look so straight. Get him out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> ew, ew, ew. Here you go, Nick. We did it. Oh, Nick. All right, Francis, you ready? All right, Francis, you're up. Which ones do I do? Either either of the ones you just took out? Yeah. The one. That's what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You do not really? have to do it, man. Down, though. He's down. They had to do it? He's down for it. They, they, they got a wheel. He got picked by the wheel. He just oh. the, he just no, no, Big Cat didn't get picked by the wheel. He just volunteered. I did it because I felt bad that I yeah. put that on my wheel, and I didn't want to be the guy who's just making someone else oh. do it, so I'm leading from the front. You know what was the worst part? Thank you for cleaning them so meticulously. I really they did. Tasted, uh, the the, the mouthfeel of yeah. another yeah. person's teeth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that makes you want to be a... Dennis? Killer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> KB, yeah. has any killer ever done that? With the teeth? Taking out someone's teeth and yeah, putting Yeah, they in don't really mouth? fuck with teeth like you would think. Uh, kind of let them be, yeah. That's the one thing, yeah, I mean. They're really in there. Yeah, I right. think they're harder to take what out is, than you think. What is, nah, I'm right? kidding. They, they really, they knock Special the teeth guest? out. guest? What's he doing? I don't, I don't know. I don't think he wants to be on camera. <laughs> I like the white hood, though. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> and now he can't walk? Uh, but what is going he going to someone else's podcast, obviously, but we've be born here. I can't wait. Wouldn't that be diabolical if someone, if a, a serial killer murdered someone and then took out their teeth uh, and put them in their uh, mouth? Look, 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 wait, wait. Oh, is he going to be a review? Uh, somebody help him through the fucking door. Oh, he's a special guest on Out and About? Uh, oh. Please end this. Does he not? N- why is he... I don't understand. Can we see what's going on? We got to get in that room. The hell? Help oh, they're just easing him in. They, they won't have any idea it's Frank. <laughs> Kate, does this bring back oh, memories oh. of the Marines? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, they're going to start hitting him with soap in a minute, right? Oh, man, I can't wait for this reveal. They're going to be oh. shocked. What songs do they play in Abu Ghraib? What's, what? Oh, it's Kim. Yeah, M&M. <laughs> yeah, they're playing. I found out a playlist of what they would play for the detainees at uh, Abu Ghraib. No way. I it was Guantanamo. Guantanamo and Abu Guantanamo. Ghraib aren't yeah. the same thing, right? Uh, they did it at both, I think. Yeah. yeah. Remember when Sass thought he could get waterboarded? Yeah. 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 For like four seconds. And not really waterboarding. Yeah. yeah. So they were playing this song at the like the. They there's a list of the songs that they Where? would for at at Guantanamo that they would the playlist that as they put, punishment like you no know, what they would do is they would play these songs over and over and over really high all through the night so that the detainees couldn't sleep, which meant that they kind of that's a way to break them. Mm. It's like uh, you know auditory. 
torture. They yeah. do that. They don't let the uh, contestants on like uh, Bachelor sleep, right? Same thing. Yeah. Is Same right? type really? of vibe. I, th- I think like all that stuff shot at like 4 a.m. What would be, a, I mean, just Stephen Che's JPP over and over? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Mincy Sounds? Mincy, Mincy Sounds, would I would probably sleep like a baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Comforting. That's this. Mincy makes sounds that the seven dwarves made when they were sleeping. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be <surprised. laughs> and, their, and their little yeah, their, their the, hat the, goes yes, up he's every time. Going his nightcap up and down. <laughs> <laughs> he wakes up at like three a.m. for some gumbo. He brings his candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> Mincy wrote a blog uh, when I quit the dozen. That was you the, quit? the worst blog I've ever read on Barstool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why did you? Hold on. I, it's number the, one, the worst thing I've ever read. Retired. All right, f- pull up the blog, yeah. but why'd you quit? I was so bad at it. Oh, the Fordham dropout thing? That's right. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's Now it's all kind of connected. I was, I was like, I was hurting whatever team I would have been on. Who cares? I know, I was having fun, but I mean, I'm tr- I truly was the 71st out of 73 players. That's how bad I was. You know who was behind you? Alex Bennett and um, Stu. Stu, finer. <sighs> successful people. Very right, successful. Yeah. <laughs> successful people. Yeah. All successful people. Can I read you this mince box? Both have been millionaires yeah. at a certain point in their life. I almost All three. Yeah. I almost wrote um I almost wrote a long response blog about it, but uh-huh. I felt like that would be too mean. No, you can I think do, you any- do it. You can do anything to mince. He will he, he he and Stephen Chair are the two impenetrable brains at this company. I, I don't even know if it would have been... I wasn't even worried about him. I was worried about, like, how people... Well, you might get attacked felt. by Stein, but... Plus, revenge fine. is a dish best served cold, so this is the perfect time to do it. It's so, like- let me preface this by saying that... Um, let me preface this by saying that the first time that I did the dozen with Ben Mintz and Robbie... I didn't do very well, and Ben Mintz went around the office afterwards saying how many more questions he got right than a Harvard graduate. Ah. That doesn't sound like Mintz. No, he usually keeps his... We were on the same team. Yeah. We were on the same team, so I didn't understand why that that smoke was coming my way. Yeah, I think you're making this part up. Ben Mintz... Yeah, there's he's no bragging. There's no I in yeah. Mintz. Yeah. He's bragging about something? Yeah. There is an I in Francis, and he doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <He's... laughs> Wait, pull up the blog, TJ. The TJ will title, pull up. The title of the blog, Francis Sellis. Francis spelled F-I-S. Oh, here we go. Oh, Francis yes. oh, shit. <laughs> Which is the feminine spelling of my name and something that I was bullied over my entire youth. So he just... Also, Cyber. mean move off the get from you, Francis, with that yeah. note at the top. Yeah. <laughs> go up. All right. Note: Francis has requested this blog go up e- unedited. All that has been changed. Is the format and spoiler tag added. Yeah, I said to I said to Nate because I read it in the back end and I was like, please post this without editing it. I might do a response blog to this, uh, but if you guys fix things, then it won't be as funny. And yeah. So by the way, I, did I tell you guys that I was in a meeting and and I found out that like thirty five percent of um. Yak fans are listening to the podcast. So you got to do a better job of reading high. stuff. I know. It's 35%? crazy. Yeah. Yeah, the total high number high of level. people who listen to the Yak or consume it. It is always on the podcast charts. It's know. crazy. So we got to just remind. I forgot to tell you guys that reminder to when we do these things like reading blogs, we should read them for the people at home. I want to hear yeah. Francis oh. read this one, though. Yeah, okay. I feel like uh, this would be. Right, so, so pull it up for the people who can read along. Yeah. The other large percentage so remember there is a mandate on the blog now of like be funny be interesting mm-hmm. we're not gonna blog we're not gonna post everything people write and Are this you saying that this isn't funny you'll see okay <laughs> continue francis ellis spelled wrong and is loving life right now dropped a bombshell at the beginning of the dozen trivia match between the big screaming honkers and your mom and he posted the tweet. <laughs> he spelled your name wrong the whole time. The whole blog. And there's a tweet <laughs> in there with your name Names all over whole it. Blog. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> he said that if he did not score at least two points in this match, he was retiring. There's a scroll back up. four period ellipses in between. <laughs> scroll back up, TJ. So Francis. No, I think it was an ellipse. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're it was right, an ellipses, then he ended the sentence. Then the next <laughs> word should be capitalized. <laughs> Francis, we hardly knew you. Despite my... What a joke. 
<laughs> Great joke. Despite my internet in NOLA going out because of weather, the match turned out to be wildly entertaining and down to the wire. Nothing new to me. I thrive in chaos. Check it out here. Okay, little pumping himself up. He deserves that. Francis, no apostrophe. Esteemed dozen career. I, it has to be Francis's esteemed dozen career. <laughs> Ends after a whopping four matches. He was 71st of 73 in scoring, and clearly wow. his heart was not in it. <gasps> I don't, a pretty funny blog so far, just yeah, going to say that. Very factual. I don't blame him, to be honest. No one wants to replace a legend, and that is exactly what our former captain, Coley Mick, was. Coley led the Honkers to the season one championship before b- departing Barstool Sports. In italics. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After I blew the quarterfinals against Frank and the Frankettes, despite his Havad degree, <laughs> that might be intentional. We could he could be doing the Boston thing. Oh yeah, there's oh, no wow. R. Okay, all right, he spelled it wrong. Francis E was never comfortable, and the trivia world did not click for him. Replacing Coley reminded me. Here's a joke. Replacing Coley reminded me of the Saints trying to replace Sean Payton. No one can fill those lofty shoes. Okay. Lofty shoes. Lofty shoes. Shoes Shoes are very high shoes. Yeah. Shoes are always on the ground. (laughs) It reminded him of that. (laughs) Holy shit. That's what it reminded him of. So now the question remains, where do what is left of the (laughs) season one chance go from here? Robbie Fox and I are currently discussing all options. There are plenty of capable free agents available after the relegation tournament. The honkers are on the bubble of the dozen playoffs, and there is no doubt a sense of urgency. Stay tuned. An announcement is coming soon. I thought he nailed that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, what? what is that? It's a blog. <laughs> is that a blog? Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Did you call you, Big Cat? Yeah, that was a blog. You wrote... Hundreds of hundreds of hundreds Never that of good. blogs. Never that good. <laughs> Bore the brunt <laughs> of bringing this company from a candle flicker to the illustrious mash. Off the shoes. Oh, no, 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 you're doing Off it the, the wrong way. Too. I worked hard at blogging so one day someone could follow that is more talented than me like Ben Mintz. He we stands on the shoulders of Yeah, so he is. I I have done my job. The lofty he, shoes of yeah. Dan Cat. Right. Yeah. I get. I can step away because I know the blog is in good hands with blogs like that for Mincy. Oh my God! <laughs> I read this start to finish and I, I felt ill. I felt queasy because I get five DMs a day of aspiring barstool writers who send me their sample work and. All of it is better than this. No, well, Francis. Uh, can we go back to Ben Mintz's blogger page? They will he's never. Not- they will never sniff a job here. He's not prime. He's not a blogger first and foremost. He's a content creator. Look at that little so face. He put out his video from <laughs> the 2.0 in finance. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> you graduated from Ole Miss with a 2.0 in finance. Respect. Okay. You get GPAs for subjects. I love Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I do love Ben. Dude, his his Mince's shoes have definitely accidentally ended up on a power line before. <laughs> <laughs> Not even on purpose. He had some lofty shoes. <laughs> He's like, oh, whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Slipped on a fast uh, banana peel. And yeah. It was oh, oh, perfectly. Oh, my shoes. The funniest part about this article is that like a week or two later, Robbie traded him. Oh, the next day. Oh, the, next the next day. day. Yeah. Robbie was traded Mincy? Yeah. Yeah. Mince, yeah. Mince didn't know it was coming, so those discussions <laughs> he alluded to were pretty one sided. <laughs> okay. Who'd he trade him to? I don't know oh, what. So team. he got traded for. Um, Clemmer. For Clemmer. Straight up. So he's on Castellani's team now. It's Mince, Castellani, and somebody else. And Clemmer and Robbie. It's his and, championship and, uh, hunting, Gia. Gia. Uh, no. Ring chasing? Yeah, it's Jewish master. No, Robbie took. Gia. That's flux. I'm, yeah, yes. I'm saying uh, Mintz is is ring chasing right now. He's trying to get on a championship team. But he got oh. traded. Yeah, he didn't have any. Did he ask for a trade? Oh, no, uh, Robbie told, was, sprung, sprung it on him. Oh damn. Robbie sits right right by. There's left probably below. a blog explaining his betrayal. I don't know. There They're in the be. Star I Wars. There was, but I don't. I can't read it. Don't want to read that one. No. Yeah. See if there's a blog. Yeah. Uh, what else has he done? Oh yeah. There we, there we go. We gotta read that one. Oh wait, which one? It was six, actually four six hours later. Six oh. hours it's later. Same thumbnail. I feel betrayed by Robbie Fox and it doesn't trade. 
Same thumbnail. Same okay. Yeah. Oh, thank hey, I'll read this. Thank God I, guess, I had that thumbnail in the chamber. <laughs> I guess all Gave good, good things 15. must come to an end. After two and a half seasons as a member of the big screaming honkers, Robbie Fox traded me a team flux for Chris freaking Clemmer. Wow. Not going to lie, this one stings pretty damn bad. Damn. Robbie and I won a the... Season one. Yeah, that was kind of grammatically together. correct. <laughs> I thought there was a special bond we shared as a dozen champions, but apparently I was wrong. Robbie blew it up, man. Yeah. Robbie blew up the he whole. Knew. Yeah. And Robbie seems like such a nice guy too. Guess you never know about people. <laughs> wow. Robbie claimed the split was amicable. Well, that is news to me. Now I see why athletes feel so betrayed when they let get when they get let go and told they are no longer wanted. It sucks. But what's done is done. Time to focus on the future as a member of Team Flux with Chris Castellini and Joey Camasta. I tried to acquire Chris to be the third honker when Coley left Barstool Sports. We could not Ooh. pull it off. Italics, italics. Chris and I are close friends, and I look forward to carrying on the magic from the Ole Miss College baseball title run last summer in Omaha. Joey Camasta is a great fit as our third member. He's such a flamboyant and fun <laughs> character. He's gay. Uh, he also should excel in pop, pop culture to compliment Chris and I uh, in my sports knowledge well. He's gay. He's gay. <laughs> Joey's also extremely popular, which should play well for the live dozen events. He's gay. He's gay. He's gay. The Honkers came, saw, and conquered. It was a glorious run. I will never forget winning the season one title with Coley and Robbie, but we are on to Team Flux now. This, to wow. me, it reads like a sixth grader's yeah. written note home to his diary from journalist. summer camp. <laughs> yeah. It's a summer camp note home to I got uh, launched from the blob. I went very yeah. high. Yeah. Yeah. I landed in uh, the water. I have made new <laughs> friends. Chris Clemmer. Sla Sloppy Joe's for dinner. My <laughs> tummy hurts. <laughs> it's either that or it's uh, uh, an essay attempt from a student athlete on last chance you I met a gay guy today surprisingly yeah. he was very nice yeah. <laughs> yeah. where the english like the english teacher is standing over his shoulder yeah and he's like, I'm, I'm gonna do my best not to call him gay because that's mean i'm gonna call him flamboyant instead <laughs> source.com <laughs> he's very that, flamboyant highlighting yeah. uh or italicizing uh barstool sports do you think that's ap is that Ooh. a AP style oh. or a, what? What? What is that? Certainly not AP style. Why? Nah, why did think, he do it in both? Yeah, is I it, think that's for t titles. So that's reserved not, for titles of of the most fascinating man in the published world. Published work. Yeah, not the actual business and and books. I would just books be or plays even not um right <laughs> like uh, you would put don't you put a move or I guess movie would work too. What do you put in quotes versus italicize? Like the name of a, a article or something. Quote would be like a song, I think. So, or so maybe that would be I don't think it matters. I don't I think no. that's just for like academic journals. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Listen, yeah, I'll Mincy, tell you. Mincy blogs how he blogs. I kind of want to read another one. Yeah. What would we miss? Brandon, do the NASCAR ad read, and then let's yeah. find another Mincy This yeah. Sunday, February 5th, in the L.A. Coliseum, the grand L.A. Coliseum, NASCAR is back. They're kicking off their 75th season. That's a lot of seasons. 75th season in L.A. at the Clash at the Coliseum, the Bush Light Clash, and it will happen this Sunday, February 5th at 5 p.m. Pacific. That's 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 6 Mountain. More than 20 of the best NASCAR Cup Series drivers will compete on the quarter-mile track, which was built in less than 50 days. And again, it's kicking off the 75th season. The Clash features a pre-race concert by NASCAR favorite Cypress Hill and a race break performance from Wiz Khalifa. Tune into the Clash this Sunday, February 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Mr. Khalifa. Yeah. Yes. I Tune into the Clash. NASCAR. It's a very good uh, It's a very good race. NASCAR, they start their regular season with Daytona a couple of weeks, but they start their – they really start their year with this big event in this LA. This is like a cultural event yeah. for NASCAR. This yeah. is oh, like yeah. kind of a showpiece. A fun kickoff. Yeah. Yeah, it's a showpiece. Showcase. Little... Remember Casey Kane in the Great Clips car? Yeah. It was a nice car. I remember Casey Kane. I remember Rusty Wallace in, in the Miller Lite car. Do, do you? Yeah. Sounds yeah. like you don't. Oh. Tony Stewart was Home Depot? Mm -hmm. Yes. NASCAR. Great. Hmm. Jimmy Johnson was <laughs> Napa? Or what the fuck was he? He was in like a. Jeff blue. Gordon was tied? Tony Stewart Gordon was, was Home Depot. Right? Our, DuPont. DuPont. Did you say that already? Tony Stewart, Stewart was Home Depot. Yeah. And then he was Old Spice. Mm -hmm. And then he just had a guy. And then he killed a guy. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Dale Earnhardt was GM. Yeah. Good yeah. wrench or something. Mm -hmm. And then he's not here anymore. What happened to him? Mm. Hey, race. It was awesome. so sweet how for like uh, 
fucking 20, 25 years after his death, you could go into any gas station and buy like a three sticker. Yeah. Or yeah. like a three uh, magnet. Like he yeah. fucking lasted. It wasn't for I mean, me. You can still do that in North Carolina right now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like he was like a fucking cultural. It's like going to Venice Beach and seeing like a Bob Marley poster or like a Bruce Lee quote on the wall or something. He meant so much culturally to a part of the sec- of the country. It was dope. Uh, his name rang bells. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go see the clash. Remember where you were. Did you guys see Sean O'Hara yesterday uh, basically saying that it was like when Kennedy got shot or 9-11? Remember about, about Brady? Brady? Yeah. Can you find that <laughs> clip, TJ? Jesus. Yeah. It's quite something. I have no idea where I was, and it just happened yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I don't know I where I was. I don't know where Brady was. Yeah. yeah. He was, how was many times do you think he did it? So apparently he recorded that months ago. Oh, no. Or something. He didn't record it yesterday. It was like he, he, record, he, he recorded it a while ago is what is what I saw. Weather was, it yeah. was sunny that day or something? So he's, he's not in Florida right now. Oh, no. And he recorded it on a beach, which sounds delightful. They only have beaches in Florida. The comment by by Giselle, her, it broke my heart a bit. What'd really? She, yeah. What'd that bitch say? It was just so, uh, so straightforward and f- emotionless. Like, well, it was probably Kevin Bonner. Like a firm handshake? Yeah, it was Bonner. Yeah. Who's that? Giselle, she he's a work here. He, he works for Tom. Uh, he he was Dave's assistant for a while, and he he's a little too tall. He runs a lot of Tom Brady's social media, so whenever some Tom Brady tweets at anyone here, we're like, "Well, you're just talking to Kevin Bonner, good looking guy." <laughs> but this was Giselle commenting on he Brady's. Runs it all. He runs Giselle too. Yeah. Uh, uh, what did Giselle say? I I think it was just like uh, I wish you the best in this next chapter. Ah. Yeah, I wish you but nothing but wonderful things in your coming chapter. Oh, that's nice. Following chapter. In your coming yeah, but chapter. that's oh. that's what that's it. That is yeah. what it is. It's just in nice. Coming chapter. From yeah. his wife, ex wife now. Well, they must hate each other. They got yeah. divorced fast. Too. That happened really quick. Well, I think when you're that rich, yeah. you're just like, all right, you go it's your over. way, I go my way. Yeah. Or they've hated money. each other for fucking eight years. Yeah, they didn't have right. to have a money fight because they both have their own money. Right, right. exactly. Uh. Or it was just bad for a while. Yeah. I just would have thought that maybe if he now that he's retired, maybe there was a chance mm. them to want to believe in true love, reconcile. Yeah. Well, ben Stiller and his wife, what's her name? Um, Brady Bunch. They lady. were separated for like five years, Watch and him. then during COVID, they moved back together to be so the kids could be together, and they ended up falling in love again, and they're together oh again. God, that's oh, that's sweet. Wow. Yeah. Happy that's so about great. that. There's hope. You that solved know. my feelings over the Giselle comment. Yeah. Nice. They'll probably get back together. Totally. Once he resigns. I, I think Vegas. Giselle's already got her. She's already mounted up. Karate guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's got to be the worst. That's tough. Like, you've been taking guy. karate lessons for the last 10 years. Yeah. 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 What the fuck? She hasn't improved. <laughs> <laughs> they get attacked. <laughs> like, you didn't do anything. Oh, Giselle. <laughs> Get his new only wonderful thing. By instinct, she just fucks the assaulter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's a nice breeze in his hair. You find the Sean O'Hara? I, was, I mean, what a ridiculous thing. This is a, a huge moment, not just for Tom Brady, not just for the NFL, but like for all of us. You know, look. Uh, people remember where they were when JFK was assassinated. We remember where you were with 9 11. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. He, his first start was a week after 9 11. That's how long like, ago he's been playing. I, was, I came out the same year as him, 2000, and he's still playing. 23 years. That's a long time. But I, I'm going to remember this. Like, I'm going to remember who I'm, I'm with. Uh, Kyle's going to remember <laughs> he was in Vegas. Um, you, you're going to remember where you were nope. when Tom Brady announced nope. his official retirement. That's already so ridiculous. Last year. <laughs> Yeah. That's ridiculous. You're only going to remember it because you're forcing everyone to remember it. Yeah, well, I'm going to remember Sean O'Hara yes, comparing yes. it to 9 yes. 11. Yeah. I remember exactly where I was. Yeah. Did Can you ever have put, a. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, go ahead. The clip where we finish the Rube Goldberg machine and then play that. Oh, yeah. I'll never forget where I was when the yeah. peanut Eminem rolled into <laughs> Joe Montana's arms. Joe Montana's arms. Sorry. Go ahead. Did you ever have a moment as a kid where you're just like, I want to remember this moment, but it was insignificant? Now yes. I, I remember the guy's face when I was working at uh, uh, like a corn a corn store or something. He just was like looking at a piece of corn. I was yeah, like, you I and I, store. you were at a corn store? Wait, what? <laughs> working store. at a corn store? <laughs> right. It was a vegetable stand. Of course stand. you remember. Was it just a maze? But it was. <laughs> well, it was at a corn store. another word store. for it. I, I was getting sold at a corn <laughs> store. <laughs> it was, no, it was like a, a vegetable stand in Ocean City, and it was like the corn section, all corn. And like this guy was just assessing corn. 
corn. I did say it wrong, but it was like yeah. he was looking at corn, and I just remember section. his face yeah. to this day yeah. perfectly. Mm-hmm. I remember how he furrowed his brow. I was a wedding reception that had a beaded door hanger, and I was like, I'm going to remember this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did? Here I am. You guys got to try it. It's no, it's fucking, the best. It's awesome. It, it just works. works. Yeah. yeah, it works. Yeah. Cause you, every couple of years, you're like, I wonder if I can remember that. Oh. <laughs> and you do. I think I was like five. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like this shit. Is. Now I'm mad at myself for no reason. Oh yeah. You got well, I mean, you have tons of time to do it. Yeah. Okay. Do it later today. All right. But it has to be something super insignificant. Yeah, it was the summer of uh I guess I was eighteen, I think. At a corn store. Yeah. I was at a corn store. <laughs> it was at the thirty fourth street in Ocean City, New Jersey. Uh fucking <laughs> a, a corn store. Could I remember you, just you, seeing this guy's face. Could you draw his face? Uh, it was almost Simpsons character esque. I'm not a good drawer, but I know exactly. We I mean, need to get a sketch artist in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I probably could make it perfect. It was fucking, <laughs> dude. I can't forget this guy's face. Was it Did anyone ever or natural? Very natural. I just caught him in the wild. Yeah. Did anyone ever come into the corn store looking for other carbohydrates? There all. I mean, there was other shit in there. That was the same summer I ate an onion like an apple, dude. I was just bored at the corn store, and uh, it was they. They had it all. It was a vegetable stand. Like zero from yeah. holes. Yeah. yeah. They tried to make onions look refreshing, and it worked. <laughs> it worked, dude. Yeah. I can keep I, yellow spotted lizards away. I can corroborate this because we texted over the summer about this place because I was staying in Ocean City right by it and 34th Street corn yep. store. A guy named yeah. Ron. Yeah, we get corroborated. Yeah, Ron Farnath owned it. He was like this 90 year old. Remember, yeah. Corn store. Yeah. I mean, you go to a corn store, you're not going to soon forget it. But was corn the, yeah. the majority of it, though? Jersey no, a lot of tomatoes. Big, yeah. Jersey, Jersey corn, Jersey tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, you remember Jersey his name? Tomatoes. Jersey corn? There are some names yeah. of people that I've thing. never met that I remember. Oh, oh I, I'm, that's, yes. I'm this way with names. Yeah. yeah, there was a real stern manager at the Kroger that I grew up going to, and his name was Roy Porter, the hardest name to say in the world. <laughs> Roy Porter. Porter. Well, I always say Roy Poiter. Yeah. <laughs> right, say, say it real quick. Yeah, Roy Porter. Roy Porter. Roy's a good name. Like reporter, but Roy. Oh, my God. Roy Porter. A porter. <laughs> porter. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what names do you remember? It's all from wrestling, like names in schools. Like who? Like Sean Edmondson. School. Co- Cody Zeckman from Montoursville, PA. <laughs> Damn. We Shout had a guy in my hometown. His name was Poke Banana. <laughs> he was in the he was in the phone book as Poke P O K E Banana. That was his last name, and that was everybody. We would all prank call him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Prank, we all just had to call. He's Poke Banana there, and he would answer. Yeah, and <laughs> he's probably been Poke dead for thirty banana. years. <laughs> that might be the best name. Oh I've wait wait, heard. Yeah, Poke that's, Banana. That's Poke the banana. Best you at a corn store? <laughs> <laughs> this is going crazy. Where's the banana family? Poke from? Banana. <laughs> the, 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 is it P-O-K-E or L-K? Okay, yeah. uh, P-O-K-E. Wow. Oak <laughs> Banana? Yeah, yeah, that was his last name. That's his surname. It was under, it was under B's for it was Banana. What town was it? Is it like Latin? Is it West Point, banana? Mississippi. Banana? DJ, pull up the O-bit. Let's leave a yeah, flower. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Oak yeah, Banana? Oak Banana's yeah. definitely dead. Oh, you see, yeah, this was 30 years ago, and he was old then. Can we read his obituary? I don't know. I don't know if you could. I'll, I'll look it up. Oh, who's this? I don't know. What the hell is that? Recipes. What the hell is this? Well, that guy was very cool. Who's that guy? Nick in three years. He yeah. works here. He must work here. I'll have to look. Uh, Leather jacket. Uh, There's a lot of, lot of pliables. Oh. Uh, I doubt his obit God. was online because he probably oh, died. Oh, like yeah. It's going to be poke. Oh, the okay. fish. Y'all want to get some fish? Now I need to find. Can you add the word obituary? Yeah. Like and, and put poke banana in in uh, quotes. Make it italic. It's a name. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I remember. Well, I believe Give you. me some more information. I'm talking I to find him. I remember Rian Yalaman Chili. Whoa! Uh, I told him he brought. He was wearing Fubu shoes one day, but he wasn't black. Uh-huh. I'll text I, Matt Warren. He doesn't. I, I told him, "Aren't those only for black people?" And then he told on me. <laughs> but the teacher tried to get mad at me. But I actually felt like I was protecting black culture. Yeah, you were uh, an well, ally. Gatekeeping. Yeah. For them, though, you're a gatekeeper on the outside, not the inside, and it is a little in the name. For us, by us. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. He was not us. Him and John. Yeah. But us is such a nebulous term, is mm. what Damon John's out must have been. Wow. You know. What's his name? Rian Rian, Rian Yalam and Chile. And was he white? No. So he, I Indian. So he kind of <laughs> I don't know that us Yeah, no, he gets to do that. Rian Yalam and Chile. I texted Matt Warren. Oh. He never lies. We'll see what he says. No, I think Indi- I think Indians. Damon John said okay for. Well, I don't want to go through people's obituaries. People from oh look! Oh there, yeah, there you go. Oh. 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 
no way. Oh, late poke banana. Poke Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. The late poke oh, banana. banana. The late poke banana. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. He's never, he wasn't <laughs> punctual. Dude, that's his <laughs> real name. Yeah, that was. Oh, oh so he died before 1992. Yeah, it was a long time. It was way back when we were kids. Poke banana. Damn, poke is banana. Is real? Poke banana and I were never on this earth at the same time. Oh, it was that sucks. back in the wow. 80s. And he would be in the phone book and you'd, yeah. He's in the phone book. Poke banana. <laughs> banana. Poke banana. Can we, what a name. Can we dig deeper? I, I, I want to see. I, don't, I think that's about as deep as you're going to. I'm surprised you found that. I want to see. That was perfect. <laughs> Seeing that in an official like document. Poke banana. The late poke banana is remembered <laughs> by the rest of the banana. Survived by the banana bunch. Dude. Oh. I think that might be the hardest I've ever laughed. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Matt Warrington. Oh wait, I found something else. I'll ask, oh shit. I'll ask Alan Brown. Hold on, TJ, I'm gonna send you this. This Hold this could be interesting. Please don't embarrass my hometown. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not, but this is TJ, look what I found. <laughs> I think we even corroborate it more. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the first semester of third grade was memorable in the development of our friendship. We particularly enjoyed the What's additional this? subjects in Ms. Henderson's class. Oh, Westwood 2 and Westwood 3. This is Westwood. As the holidays approached, my excitement for my first spend-the-night birthday party grew. Ken yeah, yes! talked eagerly about going bowling before staying up all night to swap ghost stories with our friends. There would definitely be prank calls made to the household of one poke banana. True <laughs> name. Yeah. And woe to the oh, first well. kid that fell asleep. Oh, my God. That's what we did. Yeah, we, we, we spent the night with each other. And we would call prank call Poke Banana. Yes. This poor guy was How would he answer? We would prank call Poke Banana. Oh, he'd be mad. Yeah. I mean, he got prank called by everyone. He'd be mad as hell. What was that? It was a LinkedIn <laughs> profile. It was like, Dan, was that? What was that? I don't know who That's Andy definitely not Ben Mintz writing. <laughs> I don't know who Andy Blake wow. is. Unbelievable. I like how you think you're going to know everybody <laughs> that, that <laughs> called Poke Banana. banana. No. Uh, yeah, this Outside is, elementary, that's where I went. They had a residence. Yeah, the, uh, this is he. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not again. Speaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Holy fuck. Oh, oh man. Oh. What vindication. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, another guy. Not Bucky oh. Cox will know. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, no. Dude, I feel like I have a whole group of friends that like our sense of humor is just finding funny. I, names. No names can do poke, it the best. Poke banana, yeah. poke banana is, is the funniest one here. I've it's ever uh, heard. It, it's way up here. It's the, I've never heard anything close to this. <laughs> you got to use it as your. I'm fake texting name. people right now. I didn't now, know I remembered like, it. Just you guys told me. They <laughs> poke banana. <laughs> <laughs> Poke banana. <laughs> he just lived a tortured life. Oh, I think he was a—he was like a 78 year old man at that point. He was. <laughs> the, the crazy part: banana is the supporting actor of the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there were thing. other bananas. Poke banana. <laughs> there was a whole family of bananas. You have to <laughs> yeah. presume. Yeah, a whole bunch. Oh my. God. <laughs> Poke banana. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my God, oh. dude! This is oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't have a big phone book, so it was easy to find. Well, he's in the beginning. I, of I wonder too. just how word went around. Like obviously, I, it was just it was one thing we passed as students to each other. Have you ever called Poke Banana? I'm obsessed with Poke <laughs> Banana. <laughs> I I, I want to see him. I want to see a picture. Oh, so bad. Have you ever called Poke Banana? <laughs> Well, it's gonna. I, I I don't want. Yeah, it's gonna feel. Racist. It, 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 was he married? Did oh, he have kids. He's a black man. Oh. But he was old. He was old. He was... Uh, okay. I was not envisioning that. Okay. It's not funny mm. anymore. Black banana. Well, my hometown. No, <laughs> no, I'm just my, kidding. My I'm hometown, kidding. yeah. Bread. Mm. Poke banana. Poke banana. Just sitting on his porch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get, get, having to get up every five minutes because some kid's calling. Some yeah. rap scallions He calling. lived over around Zuber Park. Which y'all know. Prank calling is so fucking fun. It is. Should prank call it gives someone me insane right now. anxiety when I'm watching. Good, like that's yeah. basically what we were when we called Frank Sinatra or Joe Sinatra. Like yeah. we were just looking for a good name. Yeah, we found a good name. We called him up. Like no, we were looking for a car. But uh, trying to buy my car. That's true. But we yeah. that was the one we settled on. Like there Joe were probably Sinatra, a lot yeah, of people yeah. that we could have called. Correct. Yeah. The fact that he had a good name made him worth calling. I miss Joe Sinatra. So wait, what was the plan when Poke picked up? Just giggle and hang up. I giggle and hang up. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's like you it, need is, it. Is your refrigerator running? Type of thing. Oak banana. My that God. That LinkedIn find was crazy. Mm. In fact, yeah, that yeah. was a pure corroboration. It was like if someone else had gone to the corn store. <laughs> mm. 
I remember uh, getting yelled at by a guy at um, a, a gardening store because I was climbing on top of the big bags of soil. And I was up probably eight, eight to ten feet. And some guy just didn't even work there. He's going out to his car. What were he, you doing? Looking for hose? I was just excited to climb. Mm. And he looked up and he goes, what are you doing up there? You know you can't be up there. No. Get down. No. No. And I came down. And I was so ashamed, and I've never, le- it's never left me. A stranger shamed you? Yeah. That's some fucking like 50s, 60s shit where you would just like smack a stranger's kid. Yeah. Like, quit <laughs> fucking around. Yeah. And just yeah. beat the fuck out of a yeah. stranger's yeah. child. Yeah. 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 The slap, the show that was like, yeah. remember the slap? Yes. I had a woman yell at me in the mall one time when I was about 12. I was sitting beside, I was sitting on a bench, and she came over, she was smoking a cigarette, and I just, I, I, was, I just coughed. And she said, if you don't want to... If you don't want to smell cigarettes, don't sit by the ashtray, sweetheart. Oh, oh got you. My mom oh. got pissed. At her or at you? At her. I miss parents smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Me too. The I miss funders. smoking cigarettes in malls and in public. I, yeah. I don't smoke them, but they're fine being out there. Whatever. My f- dad, he would smoke Marlboro Reds in his old Ford F-150 with like the windows yes. up, and I'd be in there like, I love secondhand smoke to this day. Yeah, my, I smoke. How do you know I you're in a, a go- shitty place if there's firsthand smoke? I do. I had a good friend whose dad used to drive us around, and he would not roll down the windows. Yeah. He'd just be smoking the whole time. Yeah. Fucking loved it. He felt badass. Yeah. It was yeah. badass. Very cool thing. <clears throat> Where did you did you performatively cough on purpose to be like? <laughs> was there actually smoke her. in your lungs? Uh, I think I was putting on a little bit. Oh damn! Mm. Yeah, wow. I think I was being uh. that little dick bag. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. yeah, one of them. Mm. Oh banana! <laughs> Can't get out of my. I just tweeted just poke banana. You just tweeted it. <laughs> just poke banana. It might go viral. I'm the just only like one. there once banana. was a man named Poke Banana. I can't believe Matt Warren doesn't remember. He never lies. I. I I mean, we, 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 you, you've been, it's been corroborated. I know, but right, I want I, corroboration. I'm sharing this with you guys, but I want to kind of share it with somebody that I, that I used to do it with. So, mm. you got to reach out to this banana guy on LinkedIn rice. and say, "Poke banana." Yeah, I've you reached the bananas. It's weird. I'm not home right now. <laughs> <laughs> we had to split. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Mm. Uh, really amazing. It was weird because there were no other bananas. No, <laughs> just him. There had to be other bananas. You, you don't think he... He had a daughter. ...took that name himself. Maybe it was a stage name. I, what, what, for what? The phone book? <laughs> <laughs> what have it's I my phone book name. You know, like he, yeah, imagine if he like lost a bet when he was like 15 years old. Like, now you're poke banana. Like Stinky Tony. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know I mean, what? Like Stinky Tony's going to be in the phone book someday as Stinky Tony. Definitely. And some people are just going to be... Neighborhood kids are going to be calling him. A poke banana's old as fuck. Yes. Yeah, yeah real old. What do you mean? He had to have been in his 80s when you were calling him. Yeah. Yeah, it was oh, really he, probably cruel what we were doing. I did. He liked it. He liked it. I think he even had a phone his whole life. He probably got a phone excited to yeah. be like, I'll be able to connect with people. <laughs> you're telling me I just put my name in a phone book? and like, I It was the day him. he died. Right there. <laughs> yeah. the day it all ended. What if he's just like a prolific, innovative pedophile looking for warm leads? Jesus. Why? Uh, Why? Not uh, poke. It's a strange collection of words you put together. You ruined that one. (laughs) 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 Gotta wash that one off. What the hell? (laughs) Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Alan Brown, my my teacher friend, said, Hell yeah, I prank called that motherfucker all the time. (laughs) Oh, man. (laughs) What is he doing? Oh, Oh, fresh lead. (laughs) Fuck. Oh, my God. Is the banana family still around? No, there were I, no. Yeah, his daughter died. I don't that, was his da- that was his well, daughter's named- obituary. Oh, uh, I don't took someone. I mean, yeah, that's true. In marriage, I would assume you you're ready to get out of yeah, yeah. Ruth Graves. Well, that's, uh, that's ironic a last name, name for a dead person. Yeah, yeah right. fuck. Hope All right, I'm uncomfortable now. Why? I don't know. I just, we're not speaking ill of them. We're uh, venerating celebrating them. Only yes. Stephen did. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. That old dead pedophile. <laughs> right, he has no chance to defend himself. No. He also said, "What if?" He didn't, he didn't accuse him of. He said, "What if?" True. He said, yeah. "What if?" Yes, but it was so damning. Even so, why would your mind even go that that direction? Why my mind went there after he said it? Yeah, we exactly. He took us there. Makes sense. What if he was an awesome pedophile? Yeah. What if he was the sickest pedophile? Prolific pedophile. Banana. Uh, mm. You want to do the high noon ad read, Brandon? Why me? All the time now. I like when you read it. I got, you I got you, brother. 
Whoa. Brandon, I'm, I'm gonna like pick high. you up. I'm gonna pick you up, Brandon, because I like, I like high noon. I like, I like high noon myself. I don't mind talking about it. I enjoy it. high noon. No, I love talking about it. I love the peach. I'm gonna mess the around. The peach it. is really good. Yeah. Is that your one? I think so. The lime like, is also. I great. like the um. I like the watermelon as well. High noons are such an underrated ingredient to put into a mixed drink because you know that they have a clean enough taste that you'll be able to not sully the rest of the mixed drink. There's not a bunch of malt in there. In fact, you can infuse flavor, whether you're, you know, adding classic you know, uh, a spirit ingredient, some hard alcohol, perhaps, maybe just with a tonic water or something like that. But uh, high noons can be the base of, of just an incredible drinking experience. They have full time flavors like pineapple, black cherry, watermelon, grapefruit. They can be great flavors and great ingredients. Only 100 calories, gluten free, no added sugar, and it's made with vodka, not malt like all the other hard seltzers. So look for them on Drizzly at your local convenience store or liquor store. Store or visit highnoonspirits.com to find it near you. So, Love some um, high noon is delicious, P- TJ. I have an update from Alan Brown. He said, I actually met that family. I met the banana family no. when I was delivering for, <laughs> for the drugstore in my 20s. Nice people. Yeah. The banana fam. No. Of course they're not. Nice. How could you not be nice? You, you're a banana. Why is that happening so much? Why is you, why is there not a it's, top on it's there? It's driving me fucking insane. I get splashed every other episode. <laughs> <laughs> he does this every day. He just he opens a water bottle and throws the cap. Yeah, he on just the throws floor. the cap. Where is the cap? I don't you know, know where the cap is. The craziest thing he does. So you mentioned the the pharmacist. Yeah. Uh, drug. And this is what 1920s. How old do you think I am? No, I, I you. Uh, this is Pokes era. Well, this was like 1980s, 1990s. Oh, sorry. So me and Alan, he would have been working at the drugstore in like 97, 98, 99, something like that. Oh, so wait, no. Yeah. Oak died though. But that's when we were grown as kids in the 80s. He was still alive. Got it. Poke. And he was a pharmacist. Banana. Oh, he delivered. He drove the Red Rose r- drug truck around town to deliver the to medicine to older people. Oh. Yeah, late Bananas. in his life. No, not him. Alan did. <laughs> I thought Alan taught special ed. He does now. Back then, he delivered for That's Rose Drug. Turn right there. No, you're following the story super closely too. And Trying. It's the- My aunt Gail owns part of Rose Drug. She does. How much? A third. I think they Who just sold owns it. The I think other they just sold it. Two thirds. Oh, Andy and uh, Andy and, and then, I don't know how much Connie owns, but anyway. Um, so your family, red herring. Your family's big pharma. No, she, are red herring. She's, <laughs> she's an old. She's an old. Names to remember for no reason. <laughs> red herring. We gotta fall. We gotta fucking stay Wait, so focused wait. on poke bananas. Where did poke bananas stay? <laughs> <laughs> Zuber Park. But he lived. I think he lived in the neighborhood around Zuber Park. He lived in B Town, I believe. There's an estimated 149 bananas in the United States. That's unbelievable. We gotta call a banana. They're very rare. Yeah, we gotta. We gotta call a banana. How many pokes are there? Mm. That's a great question. I don't know. So I was sitting on this, but there was a kid in my <laughs> high school whose name last You're name is Nana. Banana? Hello, Nana. <laughs> Nana, and his first name is Benjamin. Ben Nana. Oh no. Oh. He was a very nice kid. Ben Nana, that's tough. Mm-hmm. That's a mean. Pa- that's like a either asshole parent, like uh, yeah. the dumb stoner parent. Because I I used yeah. to deliver pizzas with a girl named Crystal Neff. N E. What? And like <laughs> she's <laughs> old, w- was she named before? Uh, mm, she was Crystal probably Neff like tw- I was in college. She was probably twenty five, so she was probably just like a little bit older than college age. Well, she couldn't tell because she was very thi- like thin. Uh, I don't know. I went to college with Ben Gazi, and he builds these giant sculptures of like giants in the woods. He's very no good, way. very good sculptor. This is uh, Instagram. Is on Instagram. It's probably just Ben Gazi, but he's, he makes these really large wood sculptures in the middle of the woods. Damn, bro! Mm. Hillary sculptures, or <laughs> <laughs> left them there. <laughs> yeah, that bitch, Crystal Neff. Yeah, that's brutal. Good. Yeah, that's so yeah. tough. And she, I mean, yeah, I don't want to say that she looked like she was. No. Uh, but so I'm not going to say that. I right. feel like every girl I knew back then named Crystal. Crystal's and Amber's had it rough. Yeah. yeah Crystal's there was a lot of them. Right. Christina's. Back in the day. Yeah. They must have had. Um, I think like Tiffany's did well. Either. Gemstone no. parents. Mm-hmm. Like, There's not a lot of Tiffany's. Not left. anymore. No. They all died out. Yeah, huh. R.I.P. Haddish is like the last of the. The last of the Tiffany's. Are Melissa's on the way out, too? Uh, I feel like uh, this is I think still play. Mm. Irish neighborhoods. Gen- Jennifer's. Yeah. I feel like we're, we're we're moved on past Jennifer. I think there. Well, that was like a '90s ass name. I think, yeah. So 
Mm. Just older now. I feel like I, I associate the name Jennifer with bangs. Mm-hmm. I feel like Jennifer's had bangs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think of family ties. And Mallory and Alex P. Keaton and Crystal Jennifer. Metheny. <laughs> oh, that wasn't her. That wasn't her though. This is a whole other. Oh no. Rested in Polk Banana. Oh. <laughs> Free her. Connect it all. <laughs> you think we could make Polk Banana shirts? No. <laughs> Why? Oh, what if it's somebody in my hometown that? Well, then if they, they come forward, I don't know. If they come forward, we'll de- donate the proceeds from the Polk Banana His shirts. His kids are we're gonna dead, have any proceeds. dude. Yeah. What I, about just like a Mickey Mouse ha- hand like poking a banana yeah. and there's no words on it? Yeah. Do you, know, you know that you can't legally defame a dead person? What? The defamation laws no longer hold up when, once the person dies. Well, I, so if somebody's suing you for that, you just got to. <laughs> well, right. sure. Then yeah. that yeah. gets risky. But, but we're, So we're good to go on poke try. banana then. And we haven't said anything negative. You're, you've kind of it has this negative. They have to be tastefully done. Yeah. Well, well, yeah uh, what were you talking about on those prank calls? We were just giggling. And making it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were kids too. We were just. You, you didn't know. know no better. Are you yeah. sure? Just following orders, huh? Yeah, we just. Yeah. That's, what, that's what you did. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we did like a poke banana 5K, and we and the proceeds from that. Mm-hmm. How, how many people are gonna run a yak 5K? And mints. You can eat a fast banana for each oh, mile. Yeah. Dude, you could do a banana eating contest. Right, yeah. some kind of thing. Yeah. An event poke banana shirt. 5K would be nice. Hmm. We don't have to do a thing for this day. No. Guy. We add poke banana to the wheel? Yeah. What, what does that mean? You poke a banana. Yeah, you oh, poke no, a no, banana. No. What is, is there any bananas banana. left? No, you just in poke a banana, States. yeah. Contact a banana, are you, you saying? Yeah. Yeah, call yeah, contact a banana. A banana. Yeah. Yeah. Call a banana. You have to do the whole episode with your finger in a banana. That's good, too. Yeah. Would you get pruny from your finger in a banana? We'll so. find out. So. We'll find out. traps or something? Oh, his eye. He, Pink he, eye. Yeah. He's got it again, by the way. Yeah, he's got banana eye. He does. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, so he put his banana, a banana in his eye? He or? made a face mask out of bananas, and then his eye got very infected. And now Wait, it's been What number is that? 1,300,000. That's the ranking. Bananas. That's the ranking. 139, 6, okay. Yeah, 149 Guarantee bananas. none of them are named Poke. All right, add it to the wheel. Let's spin the wheel. Add, add Poke banana to the wheel. Poke banana. <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything in the same. Alan strat- says a, a there's film. nothing in the same, same realm. There, I knew a wrestler named Wink Charles, but that's not even. Oh, no, that's not, not even banana. Close. I feel bad for that dude. Everyone in town called him on the regular. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! You know they were racist as hell. There was never a race element. We were just kids. Really? You sure? Yeah. Just a funny name. That's what I'd like to tell. Yeah, you're just calling a black name, black man named Banana. There was no racism. Yeah, nothing. Right, Brandon? I don't know name? that we knew he was. I don't know that we. Well, yeah, we knew. I guess. No, no. I don't know. My dad knew a dude named Bo Hammer, which is a pretty Ooh. good one, but it ain't it ain't a poke banana. Someone just poke re- banana clears it all. Someone replied to my poke banana tweet with the name uh, a guy's Facebook page, Barry Boner. <laughs> no, I don't that no. You don't think it's real? Too many no, boners. once there's like sex jokes in it, no. Yeah. It's just perfect. None of it makes sense. Poke banana. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yeah. Give a writer's room yeah. days they're not oh. coming up with poke banana. The fact that it's K E too. It's <laughs> beautiful. Look at it typed out. All right. <laughs> Spin it. Oh, it would have been great if we got poke banana. Poke banana. Can't wait for that. I hope it happens in like five months. I just have no idea what we're talking about. Fuck is poke banana. No, I'll, remember I'll remember where I was. I'll remember <laughs> where I was. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely will. <laughs> poke banana. Holy fuck. Man. That was stimulating. That tickled me pink. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. There's no better name. Yeah. It's hard to think of a better one. It's yet. hard to even. Th- it's hard to think. Yeah. It's hard to think after you get. Put you have to in almost have a random name generator that somehow gets lu- You get lucky. Are you guys? Uh, uh, I have a thought. Mm-hmm. Have you guys seen uh, the Christmas classic? It's a Wonderful Life. Mm-hmm. Yes. Everyone. I have not. I've not, not either. Full attention. I think now. so. Yeah. So, this occurred to me the other day. I watched it almost every Christmas. I love that movie. But that was movie was made in like I don't know maybe the 1940s or something like that, mm-hmm. black and white. And when he goes back in time or he does his glimpse of what his life would look like, the world would look like if he had never existed. It's meant to show all the horrible things that he, his life uh, changed. That and and it starts with the fact that his brother is dead, 
because he fell through the ice because he never because George Bailey never got to save his brother. And then as a result of that, his brother never saved all those soldiers on that platoon or whatever because that's what he did in World War II and he was an, a war hero. And then the pharmacist kills the kid because George Bailey as a boy caught the pharmacist from poisoning that kid. And that pharmacist goes to prison for many years and is like a total homeless person. So those are two horrible things, right? Right. And then his mom is like some angry bitch who runs a boarding house. And then the worst thing of all is his wife. She is an old maid. She never married. Finds love, yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah, I would be hyped. Right? That's <laughs> awesome. That'd be yeah, exactly, yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah, it's be or like, He's like, you're not going to... He goes, he, Clarence goes, you're not going to like it, George. She's an old maid. She never married. And then it's they like go... fantasy. Sweet, like, yeah. Yes. Really? Yeah. And, and, and there's two things at play there that I found interesting. One, that the, the worst thing that they could have come up for in that time to happen to a woman... <laughs> is not to get is dicked to down. not get married. <laughs> yeah. And that two... For George, that he would be that that would be a horrible thing for him to learn. Whereas I feel like if if I were to see a glimpse of my life where I hadn't existed, to find out that all these years later my wife married Ben Mintz, never <laughs> never oh got my married. God. Yeah. She still has her hymen. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That is hilarious. So it's uh, have you ever seen the butterfly effect with Ashton Kutcher? Oh, yeah. Have. yeah. Doesn't he yeah. kill himself as an unborn child with the umbilical cord? Uh, there was two endings. Yeah. That was one of the all oh. endings. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, things would have been better without any as a baby. That movie Jeez. was crazy. Wow. That movie was nuts. What yeah. the fuck? Interesting. Yeah, it's a wonderful life. Uh that movie is is like so negative and dark for like such a happy, fun title. Like yeah. It's just seeing all this like shitty stuff going on. Like that sucks. Yeah, but you often forget if you haven't seen it recently that that whole glimpse part of the movie, which is what everyone remembers, only lasts for about fifteen minutes. Mm. The rest of the movie is like hours of setup for that. Mm. Yeah, they used to make movies slowly, very uh, slow. Yeah, nothing used movie. to happen in old movies, even like the like most critically acclaimed movies of all time. Like fucking like Chinatown and like fucking Rear Window and have shit. you seen Have you seen all those? Do you watch old classics? I, yeah, yeah, I've tried. Ugh. Some of them just don't. Some of them just nothing happened. Rear wi- Rear Window. <coughs> I liked I liked Hitchcock movies. Men Who Knew Too Little and The Birds. I remember watching. Huh. Hmm. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banana. <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> None of us the whole focus. time you were all talking, just... Francis, I was like, poke banana. Poke There's, banana poke you can't banana. even riff on poke banana because that's the funniest thing that will come <laughs> yeah. from. Like, I was trying to think if like they remarried with a hyphenated name, what would be fun? No. Poke banana. Pudding, yeah. pudding family? Doesn't matter. <laughs> poke There's banana. poke banana pudding. That's yeah. a real thing. You poke the dish and you pour the banana pudding in. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Find the recipes online. Poke banana. Damn, bro. I feel like that's that like... Uh, it's just hard to it's hard to get past it. It's hard to top it. Yeah, it's gonna ruin the rest of my day. You can't think anymore. Roan was right. Oh. Like creative ability out the window because you know that's out there. You can see why we called him as kids. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I we gotta get our. I tried right. to kidnap. Him. I'll do his voice again. A poke banana. Yeah. <laughs> I never did his. Yeah, voice. you did the voice of him picking up the phone. Did oh, oh, let's just hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good impression. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is your he doesn't even he probably didn't even have a fr- hell no ice box. Do you ice have? Box, yeah, right? hey, do you have an? Is ice your biltong salted? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. do you have an ice box? It's the eighties. He had a refrigerator. You curing any meat? <laughs> Damn, I w- the the first prank phone calls must have been exhilarating. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, historically, the first ones. How long do you think into the invention of the telephone were people making a mockery? Early. Uh, Early. Had to be one of the first ones. Yes. First week? Ahoy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how they wanted to uh, answer well, the... I, I saw that. Is that fact real? Where somebody wanted to say ahoy and somebody wanted to say hello? Ahoy, hoy. And they went with hello? I think so, yeah. So we could be saying ahoy? Ahoy. Ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. (laughs) I like that. Whoa. 
It was like on The Simpsons, whenever Mr. Burns would answer the phone, he'd be like, ahoy, ahoy. Yeah. Then hang up and say ahoy. It's kind of sweet. Hello is good. I can't believe hello only came from phones. How, how do other races pick up the phone? Because <laughs> I don't know if they're saying hello like the white people. I don't know if they're going with the standard hello. I think the question mark hello died I'm trying, I'm try, I'm trying to picture it. Like, Wilson, hello. Why people say hello? In pre- Fresh uh, no, no, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to see. Can you say you're on the mic, what's your beef? Yeah, but that was TV. That was uh, what's real. the word you I said? Don't, you said a black person's never said. What is? What's the word that? What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! What was? There was it? a. There was a. Yeah. There was a word that you. Th- you there's uh-huh. no. Huh. Yeah. Whitest word. Yeah. What's the whitest word? Malarkey? Distraught. Someone once told me that distraught was a very white word. A white really? word. I feel distraught. Malarkey's a pretty good one. Was it a type of cheese? It was a, it was a food product. Yeah, it was a type of cheese, I think. I think it was. B- brie cheese? No. Kiwi? Oh, they, yeah, you said they've never said it. Well, no. Kiwi was one. I don't know. Kiwi? Mm. No, that's tropical. Hello. I don't know if they say hello. Someone call, someone try. Oh, well, they do. I don't. I bet you they won't, whoever it is. <laughs> I can call I my Bucky Cox right now. Oh, is he going to say hello? He, he no, might say what's up. I, old heads will, maybe. Oh, okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> wow! There you go. Oh, uh, I, I almost got. Right. I almost got excited. Uh, yeah. All right. Myth yeah. busted. Did you just call someone and hang up? That was Zah. I called Zah. Oh, sitting right there. Smart. Smart. Oh, banana. I looked up the earliest prank calls, and the earliest documented ones in the U.S. was 1884 in Rhode Island. People used to call the Undertaker and be like, "So and so's dead. Bring the freezer." And then oh, shit. random houses. It, they were like swatting them, but with un- the Undertaker. That's awesome. And then the Undertaker would cool. show up with all his shit, and the family would be like, "What?" Yeah, it's the Undertaker metal. would show up a day and a half later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> having gone 400 oh, yards yeah, yeah, yeah. with his horse. Called an immense amount of effort. On Bucky Cox. On a black person. Bucky Cox. Not Bucky Cox. Calling not Bucky Cox. Yeah. What do they? Uh, his name's Mario. It's not answering. This didn't work out at all. Mm. all right. So how do how do um how does the Undertaker confirm it now? Like, do they need photo evidence? Oh, like, yeah. oh yeah, prove it. Yeah, yeah. They're scarred. They're now. dead, huh? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. So we could maybe call an Undertaker. I guess it's like falsely calling nine one one, just asking for a. Uh, Ambulance. It's got to be such a crazy life to be like a funeral director or someone just always like at being around the saddest people on earth. But it's like uh, it's so it's so work like for you that it doesn't really affect. Yeah, you. Yeah, I know. You're just like pretty cheery. They make good livings though, and it's yeah, it's very necessary. Yeah, remember my boy? We used to call my boy who was uh, yeah, in, uh, involved folks. Hmm. Hmm. It just always had to be somber. Yeah, but he's pretty cheery. He's like one of the most positive and like even keel dudes I know. Yeah. Can you summon somber if you need it? Like Like you're not actually sad, but you can appear sad? Mm. He's just all in your clothes. I think a lot of things are in your clothes. Like just wearing like if you're just sitting at a desk in a suit, people will be like you're like you have some authority or your life put together when you could just be on drugs. A lot of shaking hands with two hands. Yeah. This cask is going to cost $16,000. I think slower mannerisms too. Yeah, like yeah, you just I, deliberately slow. I go like this. It seems a little more. A little bow like, in your head. What walking people putting your hand on the on their back as they walk out of the room. Small of their back. Small Hands of behind back. your back is also yeah. a move too. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. just yeah, just always nodding slowly, looking down a lot. And fucking so many dead people. <laughs> it's got to be part of it, or just at least putting your sandwich down just on the poking table. Poking them. Yeah. Like in Gone yeah. in sixty seconds. Remember in Gone in sixty seconds when he calls up the one dude who's the puts the sandwich down. The big funeral home in my town has really beautiful gardens outside of it, and it's oh, right shout across them out. In the park. Um, <laughs> they have an interesting, I forget the name of it, but it's like a weird name, too. Um, but they always hide toy dinosaurs all over the plants and everything. Like, it's like a little magical world. And so there'll be all the people out front, you know, when the weather's nice or whatever, and I have to take my son the opposite way so he doesn't go running through to look for all the dinosaurs. And like, But I've DM'd with him. I said your dinosaurs are great. And they said stop by sometime. Oh. Maybe I nope. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. What's their Instagram page like? Dinosaurs? They do. They have like an Instagram page and everything, and they. Is that to keep the kids busy while everybody else is mourning? I think yeah. so. Yeah. That's pretty genius. What if yeah. What if at a funeral home they're like 
to really know that the guy's dead, they they go poke the banana. Yeah, that's what they'd have yeah. to do. Like, did you go poke the banana to see if he's dead? Hey, he gets rock hard. Hey, yeah, it's like if you poke the banana and he doesn't move, then he's dead. But he poked that banana. Yeah. He starts giggling. <laughs> he oh, might be alive. Sh- yeah, before we before we touch up his face, did you poke the banana? <laughs> he's dead. Explain that hard cock. Yeah. Oh, Calhoun mania is what it's called. Mania? That's a, Whoa, uh, yeah. there's a funeral home <laughs> with mania in the, yes. and they hide toy dinosaurs? Yes. That's you awesome. sure that's, that's a funeral, funeral home? Or that's you, awesome. Wait, are beautiful. you burying loved ones at an arcade? Calhoun <laughs> <laughs> mania? Cal-hoon that's mania. a water park. Calhoun mania. It's beautiful. Come on down. Oh. Kids seats are still just five bucks. Calhoun <laughs> <laughs> mania. <laughs> That's like the, the first version of mania. Westworld. <laughs> mania. They're very nice. Yeah, Mania doesn't really go with... why they call it that? Look at that. Calhoun Mania Funeral Home. <laughs> oh, I want to be buried Wait, wait. There. Calhoun Mania for a funeral home? <laughs> I'm in on this place. They're all called like Everlasting Gardens. They're lovely. Those <laughs> Nothing is close piece. to Calhoun <laughs> Mania. Those so bushes last, are full of dinosaurs. Somebody's last name is Mania. Dude, I'm. I want to be. I want to be buried at Calhoun Mania. It's all sorts of Yeah, we're going to Calhoun Mania. <laughs> In the car, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Nana died. We're going to Calhoun. Mania. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Calhoun mania. I mean, they're putting toys in the garden. They're <laughs> Calhoun. Up positive Calhoun. <laughs> Calhoun. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's so funny. Oh. <laughs> That's like the most debaucherous sounding name. Too. Oh, Cal- Mary Poop Banana down in Calhoun, Ooh, Maine. Calhoun County. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, yeah. oh, oh man. <laughs> Calhoun, Calhoun Mania. Mania. Buy one cough and get two free. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe there was that coffin buying section that yeah. right there. They have a whole like a showroom. You think like a clown pops out too at Calhoun yeah. Mania. It just takes your yeah. picture as you're going up to see the body. Yeah. It's just candy starts flying out. <laughs> yeah. hey, that's literally a Buonasaurus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> It's up there with Poke Banana. Yeah. It really is like up there. I can't believe they like. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe Mania no. insisted yeah. on having their name in there. Like Calhoun <laughs> and Mania. Mania. Like you couldn't just see to Calhoun's Calhoun's funeral home. Kind also, of. if you say Mania Calhoun, it's just a totally different name. Yeah. Yes, Doesn't do exactly. anything. Exactly. But <laughs> Calhoun. Mania. Like, all right, you could be in it, but I'm going first. <laughs> We're putting Calhoun first. Poke Banana live at Calhoun. Oh Mania. man. Yeah. Calhoun Mania. <laughs> DJ, put this up. Fuck. I gotta go to a meeting in a minute. But fuck. I gotta do the rundown. Oh, I do too. It's been a very fun so does Kyle. Oh. Oh. And with this shirt, I mean, we got it. We haven't. Uh, we haven't. We did spin the wheel. Yeah, we did. Spin the wheel. We're good. We did our ads. We spun the wheel. Oh. We laughed. We cried. Oh, Calhoun Mania. <laughs> banana. The Calhoun Mania didn't get the respect it deserves because it's oh. the poke banana episode. <laughs> <laughs> Calhoun Mania. What a place to die. That is That's a- their tagline. <laughs> uh, what a place to die. <laughs> mm-hmm. Look at this. Yep. I got a go. solid <laughs> poke yep. banana. That's one of the ones that are pretty easy to explain to people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is your shirt? Walt <laughs> oh, Disney's going to come for us. Bob Iger's going to come for us. Mm-hmm. Or it's just going to be the next Pixar movie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Mm. It's a great shirt. We gotta have it. We gotta put it on. Yeah, like, let's put it up. <laughs> all right. We gotta make it in like one of those pillows where you can like uh, when you like wipe across it, like <laughs> the poke goes in <laughs> into the banana. Into the banana. Should it be on a black shirt or a white shirt? I think black. I think black. Uh. <laughs> It'll really pop. And let's just do it real small on the shirt, real <laughs> elegant and small, mm-hmm. right? Like like the size of your little word on yours. Refined. Yeah. It's a simple poke banana. A refined poke banana shirt. It might be a big brand. So we Saturdays are for the boys. Now we got poke banana, <laughs> <laughs> like stitched onto a collared shirt. <laughs> In cursive. It might be yeah. dope. Yeah. It really might be dope. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Good times, gang. Can I show you something shocking? Yes. Uh, yes, please. This is what a real man looks like. Ready? What? <gasps> <gasps> oh, hell yes. Well, yeah. Oh, oh. solely. Yep. He can't keep getting away with these wins. Oh, man. His belly button looks like his face. How did they put that? Why, why did she put her mouth there? Yeah, that was, that was a weird Trying to give him a... 
One of those. I gave Brandon one of those. Yeah, good one. She like avoided the uh, hair, so she went like right to the left to of the, the side. That is quite the line. That's quite the hairline. Mm. That's a man's man. That is yeah, a man's man. Mm. Good man. All right. All right. See everyone tomorrow. Is there, who's here? I'm not. I am. I am. I am. Can I bring in the dog tomorrow? Yes, you're, you're welcome to come <gasps> on. Yes. 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 Ooh. That would be fun. Is tomorrow or Monday obscure reference shirt day? Uh, Monday. Hmm. Monday in Arizona. Stephen, are you out tomorrow? It's your birthday. No, I'm here. Let's go, Stephen. We were, we were debating. Are we drinking? Let's a, get sake. We were debating doing a six pack race. Okay. Can we sit ups? Do it really hey. early? What do you mean? I just have to drive at like four. Perfect. We'll do it at one. So that so four. Is that uh, enough that's time? perfect. No, that's, that's perfect. No, it is because uh, four beers would wear off. Two beers, you're good to drive. Yeah. Is that true? No. <laughs> it, it's a beer an hour. So you drink six, and then you're going to get two, and that'll get you down to a point eight because it's point oh two. And you don't have to win the race. You could just drink two or three, four. Five, you don't have to each one. Maybe six to drive. It's your birthday. Whatever you want to do on your birthday, we can get some I'll, fun. I'll, we get I'll you drink, an Uber. I'll drink responsibly. Oh, we get you an Uber. In. I have I have to like drive my kids somewhere. Oh, that'd be fun for them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Calhoun Mania. <laughs> Even takes his whole family there. Gonna jump. Six pack race. <laughs> Ride Calhoun Mania today. <laughs> oh, man. See you tomorrow. Bye.